Hi Cancer, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-March for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you, and the messages are just going to be a little bit general. Uh, however, you can check out one of your other signs if you want, or one of your person's other signs. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So let's see, what is going on for Cancer? mid-March. What are the main energies for Cancer? All right. We have Ascending, we have Mask, and we have Forgiveness. Okay, wow. All right, so it feels like there's a lot going on actually for you in March, okay? So you might be feeling like you are ascending. You might be feeling some shifts. A lot of times they are uncomfortable. I feel like there are certain things that are taking place at the moment that might be masked, um, which means that, okay, either somebody's wearing a mask not showing their true feelings, but that's not what I'm getting the strongest here. I'm mostly getting that certain things are happening, shifting in a way where you might not really be noticing them. Like you might be feeling them, but it's kind of like they're happening right under your nose and you're not really aware. Um, and then we also have forgiveness. So there could be something that has happened that needs to be forgiven or that you feel like you might be having a hard time <clears throat> forgiving. Possibly somebody wants your forgiveness. We will see. Let's get into it. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the second half of March 2021. Okay, so for your situation, we have the Wheel of Fortune crossed by the Three of Cups. Okay, so yeah, it does feel like there are shifts, right, with this Wheel of Fortune. Something is changing, and I feel like it's a bit uncomfortable. Like, the challenge here is the Three of Cups. You might be finding it difficult to really, um, to, to really allow yourself to just, just get into that process, all right, and to just be comfortable with it. It could even be that this is a shift <clears throat> concerning a reconciliation that might just feel a little bit uncomfortable or a shift that is making a reconciliation a little bit more difficult at the time and at this time and I do feel that it has to do with this ascension because there are shifts there's um it's like there are shifts in your vibration or in the other person's vibration which is making it uncomfortable and it just feels like this coming back together because of these shifts might be um, a little bit difficult and I I get that you might be having a hard time really putting your finger on it, like on exactly what it is that is making it difficult. Let's see, recent past, we have the star, and in the near future, we have the ace of pentacles. All right, yeah, so there has been a lot of healing that has been happening for you in the past. And again, you may or may not be aware of it. I mean, I just keep getting that. It almost feels like it's the sense of things happening automatically without you even realizing it. And I do feel like eventually you will just one day, like pretty soon, realize and just wake up and be like, oh my gosh, everything just, is just different, but I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Um, it does feel like there is a new beginning coming up in the near future. So let's see for your energy. We have the Four of Swords, so that's more healing for you. For them, we have the Justice, which is also very positive. Um, more about you, we have temperance. That's even more healing. Wow, what is going on here, Cancer? This is amazing. You have one, two, three cards of healing as well as the um, ascending card. Let's see, for them, we also have the nine of pentacles. And for the potential outcome, we have the chariot, which is a lot of movement, possibly in a new direction. All right, so for your person, just at first glance, it could be that they are in the process of making a decision to become more independent of something, of a particular situation, of a particular person, maybe even of this connection. We, we will find out. So let's get into it and see.
So <clears throat> we're going to clarify, and I'm going to start by clarifying the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Cups. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, the Six of Swords, and one card that, oh, give me a sec. And it is the Seven of Swords. All right, so this shift is happening after a time period of uh, what I feel is something that lasted for a pretty long time and was very heavy, very burdensome. Um, it just felt like you were carrying something that was really weighing you down for a while. Okay, it could be you, it could be your person. What I feel that this shift is, is actually walking away from that, releasing that. But again, with the Seven of Swords being here, as I said in the very beginning, I feel like this is kind of happening like almost automatically. Like I feel like you're not even really putting in that much effort and it's just kind of taking place on its own. You, it may be that you had put in effort for this in the past. Um, and it may not have felt like you were seeing results and it's kind of like that is taking effect now but it's happening in a i feel in, in an effortless type of a way and that's not to say that it's easy though like it still feels like i said very uncomfortable and it might still feel difficult but it's not like you you're not consciously putting effort into this shift that's happening it's just happening all right so that's the best way that that i can explain that <clears throat> Let me clarify the star in the recent past. All right, we have the devil and we have the ace of cups. <clears throat> All right, so so there may have been something that you were really wishing for in the past, and it may have been to actually have some kind of a healing, some kind of Maybe even some kind of a, of a resolution when it came to a connection. And I feel that whatever this connection was, it was something very special. It was something um, where, where there was a lot of love. But at the same time, there was also something very toxic attached to that. All right, with the devil here. But what I'm seeing, because the star is, is our main energy here, is that whatever this energy was with this devil, I feel like that has been healed like it's something that is now in in the past so like i said again it feels like you put in a lot of effort in the past and it's like now now you have the payoff and but you're not even really realizing it yet because you're still like in the deep water if you can get what i'm saying it still feels a little difficult, but <clears throat> things are really shifting now. So let's see the Four of Swords for your energy. The King of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so this is just pretty much confirming what I've already said. There is a person here that I feel you you held a lot of love for this person there was a lot of emotions here all right and something has happened here obviously that has caused you a lot of stress and i feel like you're still undergoing the stress as i said you're still going through a difficult um time period but again you're healing that and actually this healing is happening very quickly it's happening more quickly than than you realize so like i said it's kind of like you're just gonna wake up one day and be like what this i'm done with that hard part of the situation yeah pretty much so let me also clarify temperance all right the knight of pentacles and the tower all right yeah so <clears throat> yeah it's it's a difficult time period all right with this tower it does it might feel to you like you don't know what is going on you feel like like what is even the point of anything it feels like everything you had wished for or was hoping for was working towards that it's coming to an end that it's being destroyed um but again i'm just i can't stress this enough what you don't see is that you are actually healing very very quickly throughout this you're just right you're, you're like in the middle of the deep water right now 
and so it's really hard to see <clears throat> what's really going on. It's hard to see see the whole picture from above, right? And yeah, it might take a little bit of time, but it is happening quickly at the same time. It's just requiring a little bit of patience from you right now, okay, with this Knight of Pentacles, but you are on the right track here. You are on the right track, you're moving in the right direction, <clears throat> and it could be also that you have learned patience or that you are still learning patience and how to find that inner balance. And again, I feel like you are doing that, you have done that, and you're, you're about to come out of this. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what's going on with, with um, this person here that you are connected to in some way. Let's see justice. Again, don't forget that the roles can be reversed. All right, we have the magician and we have the three of swords. All right, so this person is also undergoing some pain here. They're feeling um, possibly even heartbroken. And I feel like whatever it is that has happened, okay, because they have justice, they're either trying to make a decision in order to, to correct this, all right? As the magician, they want to manifest. Let me get one more. I feel like they want to correct a heartbreak here. Or to bring something into, into balance and to just um, make it right. We have the world. So it feels like this person is um, <clears throat> actually trying to manifest some kind of a conclusion for something. It doesn't necessarily mean for your connection, although it could be, it could be that this person um, has made the decision to, to end the connection with you. Okay, that's just going to be for some of you. And this could be what you are dealing with and what you are going through. And that's why, what you are healing from. And then for others of you, I mean, the, what you are healing from, it could be just the, the experience in general with a person and not necessarily um, separating. I mean, we never know if the separation is going to be for good, but whoever this is, they're concluding something in their lives, all right? And I feel like that's a decision that they're making. And it does feel like that decision might actually be the right one, okay? That's how it's coming through. It's coming through that it's the right one, but it does also cause, cause pain. And you know, things, things do change, things do change. If um, a decision that might be the right one at a particular point in time, you know, that might not be true at a different point in time, <clears throat> but it feels like it's the right decision, um, at least for the time being. Let me see this Nine of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Let me get one more. The sun, yeah. Okay, whatever it is, <clears throat> whatever decision it is that this person is in the process of making, because I don't feel like, because I'm seeing this more of, of current energy right now, okay? So this is something that they are in the process of doing still. I don't feel like it's something that is, you know, is done complete, like that's it. Um, it is going to lead to something <clears throat> better okay and i feel like it's going to be something better for the both of you regardless of whether this is a conclusion for for the two of you or whether it is a conclusion a conclusion of something else in their lives all right that's not clear and it could be different for for each of you um what i do see though is that whatever this decision is this decision is, is helping this person to become more independent to become um more self-assured and just more self reliant, all right, with the Queen of Swords especially. And I feel like this person is, is actually going to be pretty firm in this decision. It's not something that they're um, wishy-washy about. It's something that, yeah, you know what, this is what I am doing, and I'm going to see it through to the end. It is difficult for them as well, all right? It is difficult for them as well. They are undergoing some pain, but they also have this Knight of Cups here, which is telling me that this decision is leading them to actually be able to open up in a different way 
to love in a way that is going to bring them um, ultimate happiness, okay? So this could even be with you. Um, let's see, let's see if we can figure out, for the most part, if this has to do with someone else or if this is about you. I mean, we do have, <laughs> here's Mannix. <laughs> Yeah, he, he went crazy in Libra's video and a little bit in Aquarius. Um, so here he is visiting Cancer as well. All right, because we do have your, your element here, your energy for the potential outcome, which I think is fantastic, all right, that we do have the chariot there. So let me see the, the Ace of Pentacles coming up in the near future. Because either way, like I feel like what is important isn't so much whether this person is concluding the situation with you or with someone else. Um, what I feel is important here is the fact that it is leading to something good, okay, for the both of you. You are doing your healing. Um, you are moving forward even though you might be going through a difficult time right now. And so are they. So that is what really um, is the important part here. All right, so, and I do see this new beginning here for you. So for the near future, the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Star and the Three of Pentacles. Wow, okay, so the Star, again. Um, there's a new beginning coming up for you. It's going to feel fresh, it's going to feel new, and it's going to feel peaceful, calm, and it's going to involve... A collaboration or a partnership with someone and I feel like yeah you know this could even be in love all right I'm not going to rule that out although I'm not specifically seeing love here but this is a love reading the way that I am seeing this is that it's going to be it's going to feel like you are on the same page it's going to feel like you can both support each other equally and assist one another and just really feel like you are in alignment with this person, all right? The Star and the Three of Pentacles. And it's going to feel new, and I feel like that is... That is just beautiful. And honestly, you would know if, um, <clears throat> if this person is concluding something with you, all right? If that's your situation, you would know, obviously. All right, so let's clarify the chariot for the potential outcome. Ooh, okay, wow, <laughs> Cancer. Look at that, the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune again, which was your very first card out, which is that shift that I'm talking about that you don't even realize is happening, together with the Six of Wands, which is all about success. All right, so that is you. Um, I can't get the chariot card right now because well, Mannix is sitting on it. Um, but that is you really feeling in your power, feeling like yourself again, feeling good about your own self and feeling very successful and very good and victorious about this shift that is happening. I'm telling you, it's going to be beautiful, whatever it is, whether it involves this person or not. Because for some reason, we're not... Spirit isn't giving us that detail. We don't know, all right, if this person is going to be in your life. So I'm sorry if that's what you wanted to know. But the main message here is there is a shift that's happening. You don't realize it's happening because you are in the deep waters right now and it feels difficult. But you've done a lot of work in the past and you are healing very, very quickly. And this shift that is happening, you will feel it. You are going to wake up, as I said, and you're just going to find yourself like in a new, in a new life, basically, with this chariot and the... And the Ace of Pentacles also that is here in your in your future. And you're going to feel great about it. And again, there is somebody here, all right? There is somebody here that you're going to feel like it's just a very peaceful, calm, and serene type of um, a connection. So let's get your final oracle message if this resonated with you. And if it did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know if you want. So let's see. Final message for Cancer. All right, we have slow down, pause, and allow things to unfold. Yeah, you know, it feels difficult right now, but it's okay. Don't freak out about it. Just slow down, let things happen. Because it's kind of like... <clears throat> 
your your destiny right now, it's and the path you've taken, it's like um, what's the word? It's like clicked on to a specific path which is leading to this beautiful change. Alright? And it's like just let it unfold. It's happening. Alright, Cancer, thank you so much for watching. Much love.